Hey, Dr. Brad here. So I'm fired up because we just got through the PGA Championship, the 2021, and Phil Mickelson, 50 years old, won this thing. It was pretty amazing. It reminded me and probably a lot of people of the 2019 Tour Championship when Tiger won, you know, sort of coming out of nowhere, hadn't won in years. And there was this huge sort of push on the 18th hole when he was winning with like, you know, thousands and thousands of fans. fans. And something similar happened with Mickelson on the 18th hole as he was coming up on 18. And he was playing, you know, those of you that, that saw the, the tournament, um, Kiowa in South Carolina, the ocean course designed by Pete Dye, is an amazing golf course. It was very, very windy for four days. And Mickelson just played tough and lights out and got it done. And, you know, it was interesting also because Brooks Kepka didn't get it done. And Brooks Kepka has won four major championships. And somehow he just couldn't, you know, couldn't make the short putch, which was highly unusual. Whereas Mickelson did what he had to do, 50 years old, won this thing. But what stands out to me as a sports psychologist is the meditation and the mindfulness, the visualization and the breath work, things that I live and teach all the freaking time. Mickelson was doing in front of a national audience. He was visualizing before every shot. You could see him closing his eyes. He was using his breath. And then the commentators talked a lot about how he's meditating. I don't know how long he's been meditating for, but I know from experience and from hundreds and hundreds of people that I've worked with and trained that when we meditate, we're changing our neurochemistry. We're becoming more and more present moment time and we're developing this neurological muscle called poise that develops as we meditate more. So again, we wanna come back to the fundamentals of the mental game all the time. It's like our setup in golf. Meditation, mindfulness practice, visualization, breath work, positive self-talk, and of course, bang up communication. Hey, I'm Dr. Brett.